Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in verse 124, he says, يقول, إيمانم, آمنوا, And whenever a surah is sent down, some among them say, which of you has this increased in faith? As for those who believe, it increases them in faith and they rejoice. Now here we see that there's there's a shift. So in the previous verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was speaking about military struggle. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking about another type of struggle that the Muslim community face. And I, and I think, you know, a good analogy to give is, uh, you, know, you know, when we speak about colonization, you know, if you look at the, the kuffar during the time of the Prophet, they were essentially trying to, to colonize, colonize the Muslims in the sense that you have, you know, because how does colonization take place? It, it happens in two main ways. You have you know, uh, military invasion, there's a military struggle, or, and sometimes they can both happen at the same time, you have ideological war, you have a cultural war. So the Muslims, on the one hand, they have to deal with an, a military struggle against the kuffar, against the, uh, the mushrikeen. But in addition to that, they also have to deal with the propagandists within their community who are the hypocrites. Now, who, who, is, who is speaking in this verse? And among them are those who say, this is a reference to the munafiqeen. And the munafiqeen are basically undercover kuffar. Now, what is, how are they waging a war? So the kuffar are leading the military struggle against the Prophet and the Muslim community. But the munafiqeen are actually leading a more dangerous uh, war against the Prophet. And that is an ideological war, a cultural war. And what do they do? It's interesting that Allah says, وَإِذَا مَا أُنزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ Whenever a surah is revealed, فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ أَيُّكُمْ زَادَتْهُ هَذِهِ إِيمَانًا So the, mush the, the, uh, the hypocrites, what would they what they would do is that when when a when a surah is revealed or when verses of the Quran are being revealed, they would go around almost mockingly saying that did this verse increase any of you guys in faith? Meaning that they're trying to say, they're trying to spread this idea that this verse wasn't really that inspirational. You know, oh yeah, me and, and a few of you know my friends, we heard this ayah. It didn't really move us. It wasn't inspirational. So you see that what they do, what they're trying to do is the following. And, and this is something that, you know, it's almost like they're trying to create momentum. That, oh, did you guys hear this verse? Yeah, it wasn't too inspirational. I also spoke to my neighbor. He also thought this wasn't an inspirational verse. So, you know, what happens in, in society is that sometimes something that is, significant is trivialized because certain people decide that it's not important and they they gain followers and they try to gain momentum I'll, I'll give you a very simple example so so when you think about fashion there was a time in in, in the United States where people just didn't wear ripped jeans you know if, if you were to show a pair of ripped jeans to people you know, in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, even the 1980s, they wouldn't be caught dead wearing that. It just, it, it was something that was so, so inappropriate and, uh, and unbecoming of, uh, of a person to dress like that. But what, 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 what essentially starts to happen is that someone decided that it's fashionable and a, and a few other people agreed with that person and then gradually you see a shift you know what was what was egregious is now fashionable and you see that in society when when people when when multiple people say something and they they put forward an idea 
and that idea starts to gain momentum, people start to follow. And in, in psychology, this is called groupthink. Now, groupthink is a psychological phenomenon that occurs when within a group of people in which the desire for harmony and conformity results in an irrational or a dysfunctional decision-making outcome. So what happens is you have you have a number of people that are saying it, for example, like, like this verse. You have a number of people that are saying that this verse wasn't inspirational. And then you have someone says, yeah, I actually agree with you. So two, three, four people. And that, that sentiment starts to gain momentum. You know, and it, this even happens, uh, I think they even conducted some experiments where they, they would show two circles and one, and, uh, and one circle, and the circles were exactly the same uh, size. And they did an experiment where they had a classroom and I think maybe 90% of the, uh, the, the classmates were participants in the, uh, in the experiment. So they were in on it, and the, the professor would ask, you know, who believes that circle A is larger than circle B? They're exactly the same size, but because, you know, 90% of the class raised their hand, even those who saw that they were equal in shape, equal in size, they raise their hands as well because of what because of the pressure so because you know it's the idea of of uh you know going along to get along so the the mushrikeen the uh the munafiqeen whenever verses would be revealed they would try to do that they would try to discredit the quran they would say that did this increase you in faith it didn't increase this person in faith and i was just talking to that other individual and they also agreed that it's it's not increasing them in faith. So there is a type of ideological war that's happening in uh, within the community. What's interesting that the uh, that the Quran that revelation has different effects on different people. You know, so you have people that are listening to the Quran. Some of them, as the Quran is being revealed, their iman is increasing. And there are others who are listening to the same Quran and they have a totally different reaction to it. Now, and there are many verses in the Quran where Allah speaks about, you know, this idea of, of how hearts react to the Quran. And the beauty of the Quran is that, you know, and, and, and uh, we'll see this in the next verse, in verse 125, Allah says, so you have the believers who when the Quran is revealed, when surahs are revealed, their faith increases and they rejoice. There, there is a sense of joy when, uh, when they hear the word of God. 